David, of course. So the city of Jerusalem at the end of the first temple period has not much to do with whatever you see over there on the right. It has a lot to do with much of what you see outside of the city walls today. You see? So if I have to and try and understand what happened to Jerusalem throughout the course of the years, I must use my both hands. I will say that if you want to capture Jerusalem's size in the time of the first and the second temple period, you take your left hand and put it far in the far canyon, which is the Hinnom Valley, and you take your right hand and you put it at the end of the row of trees on top of Mount of, uh, Moriah, and you, that's Jerusalem of the time of Jesus. You understand? Now watch and see, today's walls are further north. Today's southern wall is up here, and northern wall is where the Rockefeller Museum is, far with the tower, you see? So the city of Jerusalem, throughout the course of the years, literally moved up north. And that's a very tricky thing, because people are, are trying to explore the ancient antiquities of old Jerusalem, and they obviously look at the walls and they say, well, everything is within the walls. That's not true. Most of the important things of the time of Christ will be found outside of the walls in this section. Because that was the Jerusalem of those days. You understand that? And so we cannot ignore the Western Hill and all the area down below, including the city of David. This is an integral part of the city of the time of Jesus of the time of the end of the kings uh, of Israel period, this is an integral part of Jerusalem at that time. Where, where would David's house have been? David's house was probably on that small hill over there with the ancient walls, you see? And obviously that hill is very steep and you can see that houses are built one below the other and that explains to you how come a king on his rooftop can see a, a naked lady bathing on her rooftop because the houses were not even. One was lower than the other. Okay? So, David's house was in the city of David. Bathsheba's house was in the city of David. That was the city of those days. You understand? Okay. We are on Mount of Olives, which is the range of mountain that literally protects Jerusalem from the desert. Which is so, from beyond it, it's desert. It protects Jerusalem from the desert climate, from the desert, uh, I would even say, vandalists that used to take height in, in the desert. And Mount of Olives is much higher than Mount Moriah. And once you come to the top of Mount of Olives from the east, that's the first time you get to see the temple. So Mount of Olives is the probably the climax of the Jewish pilgrimage as they made their way up to Jerusalem. Once you get here, this is it. You stand in awe at the temple building and at the white stone Jerusalem that you see all over this day. That started from over there and was all around us there. The Galilean Jews had to walk through the Jordan Valley, through the city of Jericho and make it uh, all the way up here and I will say that they encamped on Mount of Olives. Mount of Olives was not an inhabited area. It was not an area which was part of the city of Jerusalem. It was already outside of Jerusalem. On the back part of Mount of Olives we have Bethany, where Mary, Martha and Lazarus lived, and where Jesus stayed throughout His Jerusalem ministry every night. The only night Jesus ever stayed within the boundaries of Jerusalem city was the night He was betrayed. Every day, every morning, Jesus would make his way roughly what we're going to do now. Walk all the way down, cross the Kidron, enter the city, be in the temple area most of the time, and then come back, cross the Kidron, come up here, go to Bethany. That's what he did. And the fact that he rode the donkey from Mount of Olives down across the Kidron was not something foreign to him. He didn't maybe ride donkeys before doing that. He was walking. But that he took the same pattern, he was walking every day back and forth. And so that road that we're about to walk down today is traditionally known as the Palm Sunday Road. Your king is this man from Galilee.